In this video, I'm gonna explain the Bitcoin halving that's coming up very soon. And this is really important to know about because it could affect the price of Bitcoin. And I'll explain exactly why in this video. We'll talk about what is the halving, when's it going to happen, and is it gonna affect the price or has it already been priced in? So quick disclaimer, this is not financial advice. Uh, I don't claim to know what the Bitcoin price is going to be, but I wanted to make this video as a blockchain developer because this is a technical change that deserves a technical answer uh, in layman's terms. So if you're new around here, hey, I'm Gregory from Dapp University. On this channel, I teach you how to become a blockchain developer. So if that's something that you're interested in, then click the like button down below and click subscribe. And if you have been watching this channel for a while, don't forget my brand new program, Blockchain Mastery University, comes out on January 29th. You can click the link down below to sign up. So what is the Bitcoin having? Well, it's a change in the Bitcoin block reward that occurs anytime new Bitcoin is mined. All right, specifically, it gets cut in half, uh, hence the having. What does that even mean? Well, anytime you send Bitcoin on the network, that transaction gets mined and included into a block, okay? And the miners that mine that transaction, mine that block, they get a reward in Bitcoin, right? New Bitcoin is created in this process. So if you see a website like coinmarketcap.com, you can see the current circulating supply of Bitcoin is about 18 million right now, all right? And it uh, has a maximum supply of 21 million Bitcoin. All right, that's actually hard-coded into the protocol. So uh, we get from 18 million to 21 million Bitcoin uh, by increasing the supply through this mining process. So whenever the halving occurs, it's actually going to slow down the rate at which we approach this number of 21 million. All right, so i pull up my whiteboard here. You know, right now, whenever a block is mined, the reward is 12.5 uh, Bitcoin, all right? And whenever this halving occurs, it's gonna go down, all right? It's gonna cut in half to 6.25 Bitcoin. So this is the third halving in Bitcoin's history, all right? So when Bitcoin first came out uh, in 2009, the initial block reward was 50 Bitcoin, all right? And then uh, several years later, it got cut in half to 25 Bitcoin, and then cut in half again to 12.5, and then now it's gonna go down to 6.25. So what are the implications of this? Like, how does this actually affect the Bitcoin economy? Well, technically speaking, it fundamentally affects supply and demand, all right? So if you think about that, you know, every price in any market is determined by supply and demand, right? So, you know, supply, demand, price. Anytime the supply stays the same, and the demand increases, right, then the price goes up. So similarly, anytime the uh, you know, supply goes down and the demand stays roughly the same, then the price also goes up, right, and vice versa. Okay, that's just how supply and demand works. So what could this mean for the price? Well, if the demand continues to increase at a certain rate and if the supply continues to increase at a certain rate and then drops in half and that rate stays the same and this one changes, then that could cause the price to go up, all right? But I'm gonna talk about that here in a minute when I discuss all the perspectives on this. So when is this going to happen? Well, probably in May of 2020, which is very soon, all right? So if you look at a website like this, uh, they have a countdown timer for the Bitcoin halving, all right? They say it's 126 days away. And how do they determine this? Well, there's a block number where we know the halving is going to happen, right? It's 630,000. And we see that there's about 18,000 blocks left to go. And based on the uh, rate that we're currently mining new blocks, we sort of deduced a certain date sometime in May for this to occur. So what's gonna happen to the Bitcoin price, all right? So there's lots of debates on what could happen. Again, I don't claim to know the answer to this question. This is not financial advice, but there's only a few possible scenarios, right? It could go up, it could go down. Uh, we could see no change, like maybe it's already priced in. So historically speaking, uh, the price has always gone up uh, surrounding a halving event, all right? And that's what a lot of people think is going to happen again this time. Uh, November 28th, 2012, the day of Bitcoin's first halving, the cryptocurrency's price rose from $11 to $12 and continued to climb up through the roof uh, next year, reaching uh, $1,038 on November 28th, 2013. So another possibility is a price increase leading up to the halving. 
Roughly four years later, a month before the second halving, Bitcoin's price started to follow a similar bullish pattern. All right. They say it surged from $576 uh, all the way to $650. All right. And then uh, it continued to go all the way up to $2,526 on July 2017. And a lot of people think these rallies occur because they just anticipate the uh, having coming and they anticipate a, a demand increase and so they buy it ahead of time and wait for it to happen. So uh, there are lots of skeptics out there that think that the price is either not gonna change at all uh, or that it's actually gonna go down, okay? Some argue that the having is already priced in or that uh, people have already done this anticipation ahead of time. We've already seen this price rally. Um, and their justification for this is that it moved from $3,300 to $12,000 already in 2019 and that they don't expect a trend like that to happen again uh, in 2020 before it happens in May. Others think that history simply won't repeat itself. Okay, they think that uh, the models that worked in the past don't necessarily apply today because the Bitcoin ecosystem is just so different. All right, it was four years ago is not the same as today. That's their perspective, at least. And some people also think the price could go down because the miner rewards dropping, and this is going to adversely affect uh, miners. All right, it could cause some of them to exit. Um, this could cause increased centralization and decreased security on the network. Okay. So is there a bull run ahead? <laughs> Some people think that the having is simply a self-fulfilling prophecy, all right? Just by talking about it, uh, anticipating it, and getting people excited about it, that that causes people to buy and just causes the demand to increase and that the price actually goes up, kind of regardless of what intrinsically happens on the network itself. Maybe that's the case. Maybe the Bitcoin price is completely manipulated and we have no control over any of this. Uh, so tell me what you think down in the comment section below. Is the price going to go up? Is it going to go down? Is it going to change? Do we have any way of knowing? As always, I don't claim to know what it's going to be. This is not financial advice. This is for educational purposes only. And I want to let you know what's going to happen uh, from a technical perspective as a blockchain developer because this uh, deserves a technical explanation. All right, so if you're interested in becoming a blockchain developer, like I said, watch some of the videos on this channel. Uh, subscribe and follow along, all right? And if you have been watching along, uh, don't forget about my brand new program, Blockchain Mastery University, which is coming out on, May, uh, sorry, January 29th, 2020. I've got a link down below where you can sign up. All right, until next time, thanks for watching DAP University.